All right, today we're gonna to be unboxing an eBay turbo manifold. All right, it's what I think it's called Power Go is the actual brand. Um, it's a cheaper manifold. It's a, a 2JZ GE turbo manifold. And I think I paid, I'm thinking around $300, $350 maybe. It's been a while since I bought this thing. Um, it is a um, um, cheaper turbo manifold. It's Schedule 40 stainless. All right, so if you don't know uh, what Schedule 40 is, like, see, you'll see your cheaper turbo manifolds in gauge. Uh, so if you see a 16 gauge, 18 gauge uh, turbo manifold, what that is, it's thin like it, um, your exhaust pipe. Um, and just in my opinion, when you have a turbo manifold that that is that thin, I had an OBX one time, and we started running, it, it was okay at 15 pounds of boost. Um, when you start getting past 15, 20 pounds of boost, you start getting some pressure, and it was a top mount, so without any kind of gussets, and what gussets are is just like a support, uh, like a plate or something added in to add support to it, well, without some kind of gussets on it to add support on the runners, which is, you know, the length of the pipe it comes up or whatever, uh, when you have heat and weight from the turbo, those things tend to crack where it's got so much stress and vibration if if you have any kind of wheel hop you know car starts bouncing around when you're you know drag racing or whatever if you get any kind of vibration um, a ton of heat through it when you're uh, making a ton of boost you tend to break the manifolds are listed in gauge so when you have a 16 gauge turbo manifold the actual turbo manifold what you run into is it's just not enough to make any you know a substantial amount of boost when you start making boost you start need to get into schedule 10 schedule 40 pipe what I've got right now I, I bought a, a power go is the brand uh, P O W E R G O power go um, it's pretty cheap I was looking at the welds the welds actually are pretty good I did see one spot I was concerned with um, we may take it to a welder and have him check this one spot out. It's not horrible. I think it'll be okay. I, I really do. It looks pretty solid. It is heavy, super heavy duty. It's one that if you're going to start making power, you have to have a, a, a heavier duty turbo manifold when you start really making boost and when you really start putting the power to the ground and getting vibration because if you've been in a turbo car that has any type of power you know some of that you know those things get crazy and they're they're just it's a whole different world when you start making any type of boost and so i decided to try this one i'm working on a 2jz ge build and i wanted to give it a shot for the money let's give it a shot let's see what we got um, and let's see what's in the box. So we're going to pull this thing out here. Um, there is some gaskets and stuff that do come with it. And I've had this thing for a while, so we'll, uh, it does come with the gaskets and the hardware um, to bolt your turbo on. Um, it's got the twin scroll is what this one is. I got the twin scroll. Um, you can see, let me get behind the camera here. We'll zoom this jewel in here for you. Right. If you can see here, on this part here, these are your gussets I, I was talking about. And these are some supports as, you know, the weight of the turbo, it doesn't, doesn't pull down, um, it doesn't create any kind of um, strain on it but what I was concerned with when I mentioned that spot if you look right here you'll see this spot it's a little bit of a little bit of a gap here so I may address this I may take it to a welder and and have him wash over it we may we may change something here I don't know um, but it's got the gussets on the side here of the actual flange so it's even got more support there it has the welds look pretty good for the most part and it has the gussets on the wastegate flange as well 
that you can see there. The wells are pretty solid. I've looked at them. They look pretty good. It doesn't look like they're going to leak or anything. I don't think I'll have any exhaust leaks. So I think I think it'll be okay. I, I think this is a, a pretty good purchase. You can see inside it's got some surface rust where I've had this thing for a while. It's not going to hurt anything. Um, you can see inside the runners. Everything looks pretty good. It does have a little overlap right there where it's been welded inside. You can tell they've went inside and actually tried to make a pass there or they tried to make it extra sub, extra support on it. And honestly, I mean for the money, 300 bucks or so, I think we bought a B-Series for a Honda as well for like 250 I think we paid for that thing. And you know, it's pretty solid. It's got, it's got some pretty decent welds. You may have an exhaust leak there. For the money, man, you go take it to one of your buddies at TIG Welds. Have him wash over that. It won't take five minutes. But I don't even know that it has to be. We can, we can run it and see what we come up with. Overall, for the money, I just, I, I think it's a good purchase for the, just, I think so. I think... I don't think that's a bad purchase for this. You can see it's super heavy duty. It's pretty solid. And it's a it's a thicker than the, the gauge stuff that you're gonna run into. With having the thicker material, it'll it'll take a lot more of a aggressive turbo. You know, a heavier, bigger turbo is gonna have more weight on it, even still than than just a you know a smaller turbo. These things are super heavy. They're 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 made for the abuse and if we have a crack we'll address it if we have an exhaust leak you know at a, at a weld or something we'll pull it back off we'll even if we had to take it to a fab shop where that you know and pay extra money to have have them check out the welds i mean you might not be out 50 bucks so versus the alternative a turbo such as this i mean you're probably going to pay for a 2JZ GE engine, you're probably talking $1,500. Okay, so even if I had to pay $200 for, for a welder to wash over every single weld, and when I say wash over, all they'll do is they'll just take their TIG rig and they'll just make a pass on top of this just to clean it up to make, see how this one's straight here, and maybe this one has a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a, change in the direction here um, that doesn't mean it's going to leak what the we are afraid it's going to leak is like in a joint where it just didn't penetrate when you're welding you're trying to penetrate from from in each side of the metal to make that join those two metals together in theory the weld itself should be strong as strong if not stronger than the metal that it's welding um, so there's a few that that to the eye they may look a little you know not 100 percent straight but i just i don't see where that's not a, a decent turbo even though like i say it's it's a ebay you know off brand power go again i just for the money even if you got one that, that did need a weld addressed, I just think that it, it's, it's a good price, it's a good product. There is, like I said, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but this is actually a little long. This, this one could have been a little shorter back a little. Even if we had to cut this off, cut this weld and scoop that back just a hair to to where it doesn't come it comes it's like it's coming too far this way well if that weld's good and solid and and they they did get good penetration there's no undercut and what that means there's you know where it didn't quite penetrate in and it just blew the metal back too much heat or whatever and it didn't make the connection in, into the metal that it should have um i just think it's a good purchase 
I think that I have to give this a thumbs up and like a half a thumb up because you know it, it, this this part right here again let me try to get it in the camera where you can see that um, what you're seeing and this runner itself it's like it's just a little too far it's just a little long in this piece here if that was that piece there was cut just a little shorter and come back this way just a hair see how that's overlapped right there that that piece is out just a little too far so that would be back just a hair you know that's the only thing I'm saying overall I, I yeah I, I would buy this again I, I myself would buy this again um, like I said even if you had to take it to a fab shop uh, somebody that welds every day for a living and had to wash over the weld again just take a TIG rig and just re-weld right over the top you don't even have to put any filler metal in it just to make it if just you know little those welds actually look pretty good it's not a ton of metal in them maybe some low spots in it but honestly I, I think it's well worth it for the money I paid and if I had to have you know somebody put a little more attention to it and I had to have some work maybe done to it I'm still let's say I spent a couple of hundred dollars I'm out five hundred dollars for a turbo manifold I've saved a thousand dollars and that schedule 40 stainless and again schedule 40 stainless pipe is st schedule 40 stainless pipe now you get you know in the, in the pipe industries you know you'll have um, some of the guys will be like oh that's the you know the cheaper pipe from whatever company and all that and that may be the case but in in the in the turbo manifold world I'd be willing to bet most of your companies probably use the cheapest possible products okay you'll see some of the higher end ones that will say robotically welded alright check this out alright now when you robotically weld something it has to be on a straight run like that it has to be on a straight piece of pipe All right, and so the machine actually you can actually google this and look at it the machine is actually on a track so the the machine actually goes rolls right across that weld at that gap between those two welds perfectly and it creates that weld alright so well if it can't go perfectly straight say you can see this goes you know kinda of this 90 or 45 so you see this angle right here you cannot robotically weld that that has to be hand welded so the companies that say hey well our our turbo manifolds are robotically welded okay look at them if you ever see one you get a chance to look at them the robotic welds are just on a straight piece of pipe so like you may have one right here and they use a shorter pipe and put a um, weld with a, one of the robotic welders in a straight piece you're not going to weld all in these places in these areas you will not use one of the robots to weld this it's it's got to be welded by hand but you can't get that machine the the actual what they can call a, a robotic weld you can't it won't run smoothly across there because one wheel of that thing will actually be here and you you won't have it has to be a flat surface like this to weld to roll over perfectly all right so if you can't do it here and your claim to fame is that it has it is robotically welded it is only going to be the straight pieces it will not be like these flanges you know like in these joints and and in here and in these seams you you can't get in here with that machine it doesn't work that way these all have to be hand welded even if it's a company that says their their welds are robotically welded it will only be the ones that are on the straight pieces of pipe these you cannot robotically weld these 90s and you know so you got to kind of keep that in mind so when you think you're paying fifteen hundred dollars for a robotically welded manifold the only thing that's robotically welded is the straight pieces these 45s attached to a straight piece you can't that machine won't work like that it doesn't work that way so even though you're paying fifteen hundred dollars or whatever the price is on some of these and they say they're robotically welded that's a selling point you know on that actual straight piece is the only one alright so 
would I myself buy this or purchase this again? I'm going to say yes. Would I would I suggest this item to you for the money? Absolutely. Keep in mind though, like I said, keep in mind you may have to have somebody wash over the welds. All right guys, we appreciate you watching our videos. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the little bell for your notifications. All right, share our stuff. Um, if you have anything you want to see, email us, message us. Um, Instagram, come see us there. Stay tuned. Thank you guys.